How to play tank destroyer. There are different types of tank destroyers. Some have light armor and some have heavy armor. Some have turrets and some don't. Now the turret is the part that spins around, is what it is. A light tank destroyer will move quickly but has weak armor and a heavy tank destroyer moves slowly and has strong armor. Usually heavy tank destroyers do not have turrets, but some of them do, and sometimes they don't go all the way around. Turrets rotate slowly on tank destroyers compared to regular tanks. Tank destroyers usually have high penetration and faster aiming, or they do more damage. So in some cases, a t usually the tank destroyer has higher penetration using the regular rounds than other tanks do with gold rounds. So if you don't want to fire expensive ammo, use a tank destroyer. The aim is usually faster on a tank destroyer, especially if the turret doesn't move. And they often do more damage. Sometimes they do crazy amounts of damage. Lightly armored tank destroyers have to hide more. They either have to stay outside of the spotting range or they have to hide in a bush or run. Heavily armored tank destroyers need to position themselves near objects such as rocks or buildings um, because you don't want the enemy to be able to get around you or get behind you. Tank destroyers usually aim at a corridor or choke point. So you're going to look for where you expect the tanks to show up and you're going to find a position where you can shoot at them from far away. Because you have stronger penetration, just fire at their frontal armor. Some tech trees have both heavy and light armored tank destroyers, while others have only one type. Usually you do not need gold rounds with tank destroyers. For example, I played Frontline with the Scorpion G. You don't even have to aim. I mean, I didn't aim at anything, and it was penetrating everything. Every shot was penetrating. The tank with the highest penetration in the game is a tier 10 German tank destroyer, uh, the Jag Panzer, with 420 penetration. Other vehicles might get 360 or 390 penetration, so 410 is really high. 420 is really high. Four, I should not have said that. <laughs> I am going to get... I, I wonder if they did that on purpose or not. There's no way they did but YouTube is going to penalize me for saying that. Lightly armored tank destroyers usually hide and play far away from enemy tanks. And heavily armored tank destroyers get closer into battle. I have some videos that show gameplay and spotting, I'm sorry, and sniping positions. If you go to my channel, look up sniping position or TD position. So here's an example of a heavily armored tank destroyer. There's no turret. There's nothing on this that is considered a turret. And uh, the armor's really good, and it's got a nice slope to it. The weak spot's going to be up here where the commander sits. <coughs> got the side armor. They're slow. You want to stay away from the enemy. So if the enemy comes at you, you want to get away from them somehow, for example, by reversing. But they tend to have good guns. Not always. The British tanks have weird guns on them. And uh, this is obviously the grill. <clears throat> this is going to be faster. Not always. They, pro they sometimes do less damage. They usually aim very quickly. You're going to play far away. Even low-tier tanks can destroy this vehicle. So like a Tier 1 vehicle could probably destroy it. A Tier 1 vehicle against this the tier one has a high chance of winning because of it. it's faster and can get around it. Okay, so uh, that is my information on how to play Tank Destroyer. Go to cheapbooks.cc, look for video games and World of Tanks. And if a lot of time has gone by since July of 2022, you might see more advice added on.